So welcome guys and welcome replay watchers. Thank you for jumping on and joining me tonight for my live. So jump on, place comments on. Let me know if you're on, say hi. Let me know where you're watching from. I'm a little early actually. Super keen, super keen. Hey Maya. Just cleansing my decks. My regular ritual. Hi, Nicole. Oh, Nicole from Montreal. What's the weather like there today? It must be getting nice and warm there for you guys, hey? Hey, Paula. Yay. Oh, yay. Let me know if this is your first time watching, guys. Hi, Sam. Hey, Bev. Good morning, Lisa, watching from the USA. And we've got Michelle watching from New Zealand. Hi, Scott. Scott's watching from Melbourne. We've got Oni jumping on. Oni, remind me where you are from again. You're not New Zealand, are you? Where are you? Very warm, yeah, how beautiful. And we've got Fee watching from South Australia. Hey, Janine. Oh, awesome. So quite a few of you on already. Good. I was going to say good. I was going to say good morning, Janine, but I don't think it is morning there. <laughs> and oh, Oni's from Victoria. Big welcome, Oni. Thank you for jumping on. Okay. Hi, Bev in Adelaide. Very much winter. Yeah. And Sarah's watching from New Zealand. Big welcome. Is it Key Kiora? No, I think I've just made that up. And Pearl, first time from the States. Let's all give Lisa Pearl a big warm welcome, guys. Send us some hearts. Throw them down in the chat. Throw them in the chat. We've got Sam, guys. Sam looks after my bubbies, my babies. So everyone say big hi to Sam. Um, and we've got Sam, another Sam from Darwin. Samantha, I'm off to Darwin in September for my birthday. Fingers crossed all things COVID. Taking my mama for a holiday to Darwin. I'm a bit excited, Sam. You'll have to let me know where the good places to go. It's been like 15 years since I've been to Darwin. Uh, and we've got Michelle watching. This is her second time. Ah, Kiora. Thank you, Sarah. And we've got Wickers. I'm not even going to try and pronounce your name. I'm so sorry. But it's their first time watching from South Africa. So we've got everybody from all over the globe. Melbourne. Maya is tuning in from Melbourne. You feeling footloose and fancy free, Maya, now that you're out of lockdown? You're out of lockdown, right? I don't really watch the news, so I'm a kind of sort of out of the loop. Um, Nicole's saying, Jess, I just want to say, I'm going to pop you up here, babe, what she's saying. Jess, I just want to say that the support you and everyone have shown in the comment section was amazing last week. You have all made me feel so much better. Oh, I've got goosebumps over that. Now you are bringing my memory up to date. Oh, you're welcome, Nicole. And this is what happens on my lives, guys. The people that I'm drawn to to do readings for are the people that are sharing my live, following me on my Instagram page, and also the people that are commenting. So when someone brings their stuff up, um, or well, I'm bringing someone's question up, right, and, you know, we're commenting, if someone's going through something, the people that are showing love and support via comments to the person that I'm reading for, I'm more drawn to give you a reading, okay? You're going to stand out for me because I'm literally just choosing who has shared my live, subscribed to my socials, and gives me their star sign, but also who is sharing love and support for those who are showing up and being very vulnerable, very brave, and asking sometimes stupid personal questions. So I'm going to be really drawn to you guys. Oh, Lisa, you're out of lockdown in the States. Crap, wow, that's only been about 10 years that you guys have been in lockdown, hey? Amazing. And Jennifer has just shared this live to Canberra. Hey, I'm in Canberra in a couple of weeks. Super excited <laughs> to freeze my ass off. How cold has it been there, Jennifer? Oh, she says, I've been raving about you. <laughs> Hang on, let's let's bring this up. Let's have a look. Jen says, hey, I just shared this live to Canberra Notice Board. 87,000 people. I've been raving about you. So many of my friends are going to book personal readings with you. Oh, thank you. You're amazing. Now, on Monday, I said I was going to get my tits out because I jumped on quickly and no, it was Friday and I was like, tarot readings, but I wrote tart instead and I said, I shared that. You know, but my sister was like, oh, I'll take a tart reading, please. So I said, oh, I'll have to get my tits out then. <laughs> but, yeah, 
No. So I was just thinking maybe if I got my tits out, I'd get 87,000 views. <laughs> well, like I said, they are good, but they're old tears, so they're not that good, but they're pretty good. But I don't know that they'd get me 87,000 views. Okay, enough of me, enough of me. Hi, Jess Harvey. Welcome, welcome. Nick says, you said your birthday is September. Mine is the 22nd. When is yours? Mine's the 30th. So where, what, what they call, so you are just sliding out of good old Virgo and into um, September, into Libra. And we're what's called the first decan. Yeah. So what am I up to in Canberra? I'm going home to Naruma for my sister's 50th and I'm going to go by Canberra and spend a weekend there with my best friend of Oh, 35 years and we're going to, um, yeah, run amok in Canberra for a couple of days. When I say run amok, I mean hiding out in our room, freezing to death and drinking. <laughs> so, yeah, that's about as running amok as I get these days. Okay, guys, I feel like I've dribbled enough shit right now. So I'm going to get started. So I'm going to say a huge big welcome to everybody that has jumped on and that are sharing your evening with me and again a big welcome to the replay watchers that are jumping on so my name is jessica brown i am an intuitive healer an energy healer i am a yoga teacher a meditation teacher a kinesiologist a reiki master a shamanic breathwork practitioner a holistic counselor and a full-time tarot reader so I, my, the majority of my information comes through my sense of clear uh, feeling and clear seeing. But I'm also able to tune into your aura and being a physical empath, I'm able to pick up on miss, uh, any kind of blockages that are showing up in your auric body. Okay, okay. So I'm going to have a little scroll and let's have a look. So just pop shared beside your name if you shared this live and your star sign, please. Your star sign just lets me link into your energy a little bit further. No medical questions, please. No pregnancy questions. And <laughs> okay, let me have a look. Right. Um, okay, I'm just going to scroll back up, guys. Okay, Steve Kennedy. Oh, we've got Nat tuning in from the UK. Wow, this is so amazing. Everyone's watching from all over the world. Okay, Steve Kennedy. And then next I am going to do... Da, 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 da. I'm going to read for... Sounds better, doesn't it? Jennifer Champness because she has made me a global sensation already. <laughs> <laughs> in my mind, Jen, I'm going to call you Jen, and you're up next. So, guys, remind me that I'm reading for Jen next because, you know, if you watch my lives, you know I forget everything I say in literally the first three seconds that I've said it. Okay, let's have a little looky look look Steve Kennedy, are you with us, Steve? Let me know. Pop it in the chat. Pop it in the comments. Everyone chat amongst yourself. Let's say hi to Steve. He's looking for some insights with my court case. I'm the 22nd of the 12th. Okie dokie. Cool, cool, cool. Let's have a look. Okay. Steve Kennedy, some insights with my court case. So, Steve, straight away I'm feeling a block coming up in my right knee for you. So I feel like this has been something that's been going on for a while and there's a little bit of like, um, you know, one step forward, two steps back. So uh, when I'm getting that showing up in my knee, it doesn't mean that it's coming in your knee yet. It doesn't mean that there's any issues with your knee, but it tells me when I'm looking at your aura energetically, there is some stuff sitting in there uh, like, uh, like out from the physical body. So unless it's cleansed and cleared, that's when it starts to come onto the physical body because then we can't ignore it. So I do feel that there's a bit of an issue with you moving forward around this court case energy. Um, I'm wondering, uh, I'm wondering if it's been a long-standing, drawn-out kind of thing. Okay. Now, was that a motorcycle accident? I don't mind getting motorcycle accident through for you, Steve. If you could let me know, that would be really great. Um, If you're in the chat, let me know you're in the chat. 
Okay, so this one's interesting. So we've got the death card coming up for you, Steve. So this card's around Scorpion, strong Scorpio energy, and it's a really strong need for something to be released and let go of. So for this card to show up, it can pertain to an actual literal death or a figurative death. I feel like for you that there is a really strong need for this to be gone, for it to be cleansed and to clear and for it to be gone. I'm actually surprised the tower card hasn't come up around this, to be honest. So I feel like the next card that's coming through for you is Mercury sitting in Taurus energy so if there is that feeling i feel like if this is costing you money or it's costing you um you know there, there is there is a cost whether that's to your financial health your physical health your mental health your emotional health to be honest i feel it on all levels and layers for you i feel like this has been something that's been very very draining and very very drawn out but i'm coming through here i've got really strong scorpio energy here i've got the scorpio the card for scorpio and i've got sun sitting in scorpio here so i'm wondering um to me it feels like it's going to it's going to go in your favor i feel like it's going to be um because when we look at this card here i'm really drawn to the little um to the guy to the little child gifting the the smaller child something so to me this is really a card about you know what's happened in the past and going back into your past and really clearing and shifting stuff that has happened in the past but i really do feel around this energy that there's going to be um i feel like it's going to go in your favor i'm just going to get some clarity around that six of cups for you Okay, I'm going to put that back in. But I definitely feel like this has created and caused um, some stress around you and particularly around your relationship. I'm not sure why motorcycle or motorbike or something to do with that is coming through, but I'm wondering if this is to do with um, a long-standing relationship that you've had as well because this is coming through here and this is Saturn sitting in Libra energy. So this is really about the restrictions and the lessons around relationships. So whatever and whatever this court case is pertaining to, whatever it's around, I do feel like um, it has put a strain on your relationships and it has caused a lot of pain and heartache for for you i'm just going to do one more card around this as the outcome um i do feel like i said that it has been kind of long-standing and i feel like there's a child involved as well and this is why it's maybe taking so long to be drawn out Okay, so your guides are really watching. I'm not getting a clear outcome picture around this, okay? But you're, you know, Leo's coming through here. So there's a really strong need for you. This tells me that it's a very spiritual lesson. There's a big lesson around whatever's going down here for you because the strength card is no joke. The strength card really comes up to say, look, your spirit are watching you. They're aware of what's going on and they're not going to give you anything that you can't handle on all levels. But it is going to create huge big shifts for you in your life in lots and lots of different areas. But this is about being really, really easy with yourself and you know moving in with ease and grace okay not doing anything rash not doing anything um any any big anything big you know staying in your own lane and just kind of um hoping for the best but when the strength card comes out it really does tell me that whatever happens is always going to be for your higher good and i know that sounds wishy-washy and bullshit but when i don't get a clear picture it means that it's kind of not really um it's still it's still up in the air. It's like your guides don't really want you to know what the outcome is. They want you to sit in, in integrity and, um, yeah, and just stay really strong through this process. But to me, it does feel like it has had a big effect on relationships in your life. Okay, this is at the bottom of the deck. So there's a bit of a shout out here to the Libra energy, to the scales of the justice. And this is even energy here, okay? This is moon in Taurus. So it does tell me that I do feel that there's going to be an even outcome around this, giving and receiving, okay? Okay. Um, yeah, so I really like that this is at the bottom of the deck for you, Steve, because I, I don't feel that it's it's even, it's, it's too much one way or the other, okay? But I do really feel that there is a need for you to stay very, very strong and, um, yeah, and just, you know, stay true and, you know, stay stay true to your integrity. And I love that at the bottom of this deck, you've got the same one here, Six of Pentacles again. So there's definitely going to be some money involved, okay? Um, but I can see the giving and receiving is going to be an equal balance there. So... Yeah, good luck for that, mate. Good luck with that. All the best. So, guys, if we could wish um, Steve some luck and wish him all the best and send him some really great positive energy and vibes, then that would be amazing. Jessica's, oh, my God, I love this lady's readings. Oh, thank you, Jess. That's a beautiful thing to say. Okay, I'm going to have a sip of water. Steve, you need to drink a little bit more water for me. You're very dehydrated. And then I'm moving up here to, here she is, Jen, Jen, Jen. Okay, dokie. Now, have you got a question? 
Have you got a question? Let's have a look. Let me know if you are still on. Let me just scroll down here. So, uh, so let's all welcome Jackie. She's brand new here. Let's give her some love. Nick says, good luck, Steve. I'll start a court case, Steve, so I get the stress it causes. Okay, yep, yep, yep. Very, very stressful, hey? So you guys know the more feedback you give me in the comment section, the more I can lean into the energy, and you tend to, you know, quite often get more of a, a bigger read. So where's our gem at? Okay, share this to Canberra. I've been reading about you, so many friends. Okay, so Jen isn't giving me a question, so I am just going to give her a general reading. So what is coming up for Jen? So let's ask this, my guys. What is whoop, coming out for Jen? Okay, so she's got Saturn coming through here in Taurus, which is, you know, the daily grind, the daily grind. But there is Mercury in Aquarius coming through. So there's a need, Jen, for you to walk away. Uh, there is a need for you to walk away from something that's really bothering you at the moment. And I want to say it's around your work, it's around your finances, it's around something to do. Because as we know, when we get Pentacles energy, it's very tangible. It's something you can actually pick up and you can feel it, you can see it, and you can touch it. So I'm wondering what's going on for you? Are you going through a transition at the moment, Jen, around your work energy, uh, around anything to do with that? Okay, I'm just going to get some clarification around that Seven of Pentacles. Uh, Nick says, you'll be amazed at how accurate and amazing Jess is. Oh, you are beautiful, Nick. Thank you so much. And, guys, if I give you a reading tonight, feel free to jump over to my Facebook page, The Energy News, and leave me a review. Ooh, leave me a review. Yes. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, let me just get some clarification on that energy there. We've got Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, so I really feel like it's around your work energy, my love. So, Jen, jump on. Let us know. I think she's... Ah, uh, here she is, guys. Look at this. I just got offered a job on Tuesday. Love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. So what are you thinking about this job offer? What are you thinking about this job offer? Because this is pertaining to you moving away and moving into something a little bit better. So whether this is you moving away from the job that you're currently in and moving to a job that feels more aligned with you, but it's definitely around a transition. Because when this card shows up, it does pertain to a transition. So whether that's... um. Uh, uh, and a mental and emotional transition, but you're definitely moving and you're moving forward. I'm just going to pull one more card and I want to see where you're moving towards. Isn't that amazing? I love, 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 love that. Okay, sometimes generals are good. Let's see where Jen's going, guys. Let's see where she is headed. Okay, dokie. So you've got this energy here coming through of Mars in Saturn. So it tells me that the work environment, I want to say Mars in Leo. Mars is not in Saturn. They're two planets. Mars in Leo. And the moon's coming through strong Cancer and Pisces energy. So I feel that, you know, the, the job that you're going into, I feel like you're transitioning out of the job that you've been because there's been, you know, just a lot of bickering, a lot of competition, a lot of kind of this, this vibe happening. And it really has, you know, have you find that it's taken a toll on your emotional self? Has it made you feel... Uh, a little bit less than or taken a toll on um, on, on your vibrant, beautiful, um, you know, upbeat personality because I feel that that's what you are, this beautiful, vibrant, upbeat person. But I really do feel that the last position you've been in has taken its toll on you. There's been a lot of bickering, a lot of fighting. It just doesn't feel like it's nothing massive. But, you know, to you, this moon card, it is massive. So it does feel like the, that you're going to be moving out of an energy that was a little bit um, hectic or a little bit stagnant and you're moving into something that's a little bit better. I will say, though, just be careful and watch um, for competition around you because uh, to me I, I do feel that there'll be a bit of competition around you with this work energy I'm just going to get a clarification card for you around that six okay clarification and that five Okay, and you've got that Ten of Pentacles coming through for clarification around that five. So this is really long-standing energy. It's Mars in Virgo. So I feel like this next job that you're going to be going into, you're going to be there for a while. Okay, that Ten of Pentacles is no joke. It's really grounded. It's financial. It's abundant. So are you going into more money, um, Jen? You don't have to answer that if you don't want to. Yes, was working in mental health. It was very tiring. Yeah, and this is the card of mental health, guys. So when the moon shows up, when we connect into that moon energy, it's all about our emotions. It's how we feel. So the moon is water and water is your emotional energy. So uh, when depression and anxiety and stuff like that shows up for me in a reading, boom, this is always going to come through, okay? Because, yeah, it's very, 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 that's when the moon is sort of wanting you to go within, right, wanting you to go in and, you know, yeah, it's going in too far for too long and too deep. That's when we find we've got some, you know, depression or anxiety or whatever. But, Jen, this is coming through for you and it's brand new beginnings, inspired action. I really, really love it. And I do feel like this is going to feel lighter for you and I feel 
feel like it's going to, yeah, create more opportunities for you. And I feel like there's somebody that you're going to meet doing this job that you're going to have a really strong connection with, okay? Female energy maybe coming through. So, yeah, I feel like it's going to be really great. Let us know how you go, Jen. Okay, let me scroll, scroll, scroll. Sam says, congratulations, Jen. That's really beautiful. Thank you for that, Sam. Okay, take the job and the drama, says Lisa. I love it, I love it, I love it. Okay, yeah, mental health. And I take my hat off to anyone. I've got a girlfriend who um, who works in mental health. And, yeah, it's no joke, man. It's very, very hard to take your hat off and leave your hat at that job and walk into your own family environment and not take that with you, okay? It takes a strong Aquarius to be able to do that. <laughs> Oh, Sam says, pa passed a motorbike accident on my way home tonight and I'm a tourist. Oh, Sam, that's no good. I hope everyone's okay. Okay. Wow. Happy career day. Yay. Thank you for that, Cynthia. Okay. Let's have a look at Miranda. And thank you so much for watching from my YouTube channel, Miranda. I love and appreciate you all. But I give a little bit of extra love to those who jump on my YouTube channel. Okay. So Miranda would like a bit of guidance in regards to her eldest son, please, if drawn. Okay, Miranda, let's have a look and see what comes up. So straight away in your energy, I've got some pain sitting in my outer left hip. Okay, maybe left or right with you. I jump up, I've got my jam jams on down the bottom. So I've got business up the top and party down the bottom. So I won't show you my gym jams. But yeah, I'm feeling some energy on your outer hip. Look, I will show you, it doesn't matter. Um, so it's right here, um, kind of not quite so piriformis, but a little bit higher up into the glute area. So, you know, are you having any issues with your back on that side or any issues with your um, with tight hip and glute? Because it tells me that there's a little bit of, um, yeah, this is that, uh, it's kind of like, I feel, I feel like the, the, the connective tissue are just are seizing up and there's a holding pattern around this for you. So when I was to ask you, Miranda, around about what's your attitude around finance, around abundance and about, you know, the worth of you feeling safe and secure in, you know, on earth in this reincarnation, but what's your, um, what's your belief system around money and finances? Because sometimes we can have some subconscious beliefs that we're not worthy or that we um, don't deserve to have nice things in our life. You know, we don't always need to know where they've come from. But sometimes, you know, when we're young, we start to form these particular patterns and these belief systems and then and then they become, you know, holding patterns when we're older. And we're like, why the fuck can I hard, hold down a job? Why can't I get any money? Why am I always struggling? And, you know, and then we, we know that there's something, there's a story going on there with our subconscious. Okay. Let's, 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 let's. Yes, my back and left side, yeah. So, Miranda, and when I was saying, uh, so a lot of the stuff that comes up, guys, instead of like just, it, it's coming up from, to go from your subconscious, just to be brought into the into your subconscious, just so it can simmer there and just settle there a little bit and you can have a little play with that, you know. But, um, yeah, because it always comes through for a reason and it might not resonate straight away with you. And this is, I'm talking to the group here, but, you know, it's coming through for a reason. And sometimes spirit just wants you to acknowledge that there's that block there. I will say too, though, as well, when I start talking really quickly, it means that I'm channeling. But if I'm saying something and it's resonating with somebody in this chat, then chances are that that message is for you. Okay, so after this, I am going to do some cards for everybody. So just one second. Okay, let's have a little look. Okay, Miranda, back to you, my love. I would like some guidance, guidance in regards to my eldest son, please. He feels very, I'm feeling, I'm having trouble breathing. Um, he's, he's, a, he's an upper chest breather, Miranda. He um, I, I'm feeling some anxiety in his energy and I, I'm, I'm feeling it, it's difficult for me to take a deep breath. Is he a big, is he a smoker? Are you, do you know if he's a smoker or not, Miranda? But he feels very dejected and deflated at the moment. Has he been let go of work? What's happening? Um, let's have a look. Jay says, share Jess live or share the chocolate row, share the cold germs. <laughs> Hello, honey. Okay, what are you doing? So. Ah, hubby's in. He's letting baby Pen Pen. Pen Pen, come on. Let's have a look. Sorry, Miranda, I'm getting to you. Who's here? It's a baby Pen Pen. Hi. What are you doing? Auntie Sam's on here watching. Yes, she is. Yeah. How cute. How cute. Okay. 
No, 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 no. Off you go. Okay, so. Oh, Trudy. Okay, thank you so much for tuning in, Trudy. Okay, back to you, Miranda. Let's have a look. Oh, so cute. So cute. Okay, we'd love some guidance in regards to my son. So are you on here, Miranda? Okay. Oh, there she is. She says he's not a smoker. Okay, so that energy I'm feeling, it, it, um, you know, grief, when we feel, when we are experiencing something of a mourning or a grief or there's difficulty letting something go, it comes up into the chest area. So it creates, it, it makes it very hard for us to take a deep breath. So you find that, you know, I feel like he's a, he's a chest breather. So he's not, he doesn't drop the breath down into his body, into his belly. So, you know, the deep diaphragmatic breath, that's what switches on the parasympathetic nervous system. So we go into that rest and digest. But when we're up here in the, in the upper chest where, you know, and we're, you know, breathing really shallow, we're kind of stimulating that fight and flight energy. And, you know, that's when our kidneys start to kick in and they get extremely, extremely depleted. Okay, so there's a lot of fear around that. So that could be what I'm picking up there. Let's have a look, Miranda. Um, take your time. Can you close the door, hon? Slow. Okay. Back to you, Miranda. This is taking about eight days to get your reading out. I'm so sorry. Let's have a little scroll, 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 scroll. Now let's have a look. He's struggling with expressing his emotions as a teenager. Okay. Do you know if he has been, um, uh, has he spoken to you about a relationship breakdown at all? Uh, Miranda, has he spoken to you about um, uh, someone that's ghosting him or there's been a disconnection or a relationship breakdown that you're aware of? Uh, Jess says, typical man. To me, it feels like there's a relationship breakdown that's going on for him and I feel like maybe um, there's been like a separation or his girlfriend's broken up with him or his, um, or his significant other. Um, this is you showing up in the reading, okay, showing up in the reading, feeling kind of, and, you know, the way, where you're looking, you're holding on to that Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles that you're holding on to is sitting in your lap. So this is really bringing just a signification around that this is your um, your boy that you're looking at and you're looking down on. But this has come through here and this is Saturn sitting in Libra and we just saw this in the previous reading okay and what's coming through with that you've got that reverse energy of mercury and sagittarius so when this is in the upright it's about really quick communication and it's about those text messages those snapchat okay it's about you know all the stuff that the young crew like to do it's come through in the reverse so i really do feel that there's been a relationship breakdown around him and there's no there's no communication there there's no communication um between him and the other person but i also feel that this is that lack of communication between you and him okay because the swords as you know it's your, it's, it's the way that you think about things, okay? And this is your heartbreak coming through, okay? This is you feeling dejected as well around this relationship breakdown and the lack of communication. But I do know that it is going to get better, okay? You've got this Venus sitting in Aries coming through. So there is going to be a feeling and a breakthrough, I want to say. Like when I'm looking at those wands, all I'm seeing is like a doorway and an opening through that doorway. And a King of Swords is coming through. So literally strong communication is coming through. I'm not sure whether he's thinking about... Um, seeing somebody or whether you're looking into some kind of counselling somewhere for him or anything like that. I don't feel like that's come up into your energy yet. But what that does tell me is that it is going to get better and the communication is going to grow and get stronger. Okay, so all you need to do is focus on these two cards here. Okay, this is a celebration card and this is a card of really, really, really strong communication. So it is going to get better. Okay, sometimes it's really, really difficult Um for people to express themselves, let alone young men, okay? So something that you may want to um, ask him to do is to write down how he's feeling, okay, or text message or email and start communicating with him um, through things like, um, so through through, um, through other kind of medias, okay? Because if face-to-face um, -face and one-on-one communication, verbal communication isn't working, then reach out in other areas and other ways. Okay, and I'm sorry that you're having to go through this with your son and navigate it. It's, um, yeah, teenage years, hey, they are very, very, very tough. 
Okay, so before I go on another tangent, I want you guys to all just close your eyes and tune in, ask your higher self, ask your guides your question. And then slowly open your eyes and I've got a few cards here. I've got card one, card two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So I've got eight cards. I want you to pick a number. I would love you to pick a number. Card number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So pick a number and place your number in the chat for me and we'll come back to that towards the end. When he says, not that I know of in a relationship breakdown. So I feel like that that is around uh, that lack of communication around you, Miranda. You know, the swords piercing through that heart and three of them. So that does tell me that there is definitely a breakdown in communication in a relationship of some sort. Yeah. Because that Libra energy is all about relationships, right? So guys, put your, your uh, number, your choice in the chat for me. And let's have a look. And then also to put your quick question with your number as well. So I've got some reference when I come back to this later and go through those cards for you. Okay, Ricky's just come up there. I need some guidance right now. I really feel like the third wheel in my own marriage. Am I being silly or is my intuition screaming at me? Take that off a second. Okay, Ricky, and I'm sorry that you are going through this because, yeah, that doesn't feel good. Ricky Lee. Busy at work at the moment, Ricky. Is he um, being pulled away? Um, Ashley Patterson, you're next. Are you being? Um, is is he? Um, is his work? Because I, I feel like he can get stressed about work. Yeah, she says yes. Very busy. Yeah, I, I feel like he takes a lot on. Your husband, he doesn't feel to me as though he can, speaking of men that don't communicate, I don't feel like he's a very great communicator anyway. I feel like he's extremely stressed at work and when he's stressed, he goes into his little back cave. He kind of um, goes in and he doesn't um, express or talk uh, about how he's feeling. He keeps it all to himself and I feel like, what's his vice? What is it he's doing? Um, you know, uh, you know, where, where, where's his self-sabotage? Is it, um, is it, because uh, I feel like yours might be to do with food, overeating. Is he, um, does he come home? Is he a big drinker? What is it that he's doing? Where is his mask? Okay. To me, I do feel like he takes a lot of work stress on, though, more than you. I don't feel like you're the one that cares so much about material things. Okay. Okay, so straight off the bat, we've got the Ten of Pentacles in the reverse. So this is the happy family home. This is the abundance in all areas, and it's coming out in the reverse. Okay, so this is exactly, this tells me that, I don't know, I feel like there's something going on with his work situation because then, again, we've got that Saturn in Taurus coming through, and that's that really strong need to, it's that overly focused on work and just really putting all of his eggs in that basket. It's, it's, it's almost like he's overcompensating. But I've got this Ace of Swords coming through. So to me, this is the best card that can come through around this question for you because this is inspired action it's clear communication it's almost like the floodgates are opening and you're getting that aha that aha moment and the clarity is coming all the way down okay so it really does tell me that um you know and i'm not going to nay or say uh you know what you're picking up on but what i'm picking up on is that this is a work thing uh, whether he's overcompensating and staying at work too long whatever but um to me it does feel like that this is all about work and i do feel that he you know I, to me, I, I don't feel like he's like jumping for joy and tiptoeing through the tulips in your relationship at the moment. So that's why I feel like he is spending a lot of extra time at work. Um, but I feel like it is going to improve. Okay. And well, the lines of communication are really going to open up and you're going to get that aha moment. Just give me a little bit of um, one second. Uh, 
And again, to clarify what that is around, we've got that same card coming through around this. So that's basically you are going to get the, um, you know, for you, you are going to get that drop in that it is about work. It is about him saving. It is about him saving for your future. And it is about him not wanting to bother you and burden you with the stress of what's going on financially at the moment. Okay, the Hierophant's coming through here for you as well. To me, that's an indication about the strength of your marriage, to be honest. Okay, it tells me that um, it feels it feels quite solid and it's a strong foundation. Okay, this is the card of the, the Pope of the Dead. So, um, yeah, and at the bottom of the deck, we've got that Ace of Cups. So I feel like he's starting to, okay, he's starting to drink with my friend. He's running to her aid at the drop of the hat, yet always makes excuses not to be with his family. Yeah, and that's what I was saying before. I feel like, you know, with that Ten of Pentacles in the reverse, he's making excuses. To me, it feels like it's around his work energy to not be at home. Um, but, yeah, to me, honestly, it's going to, um, nothing's coming up here for me as far as, um, you know, if he's being dodgy or not. Like, I don't, like, to me, I don't feel like, I'm not feeling that in his energy. Um, yeah. But I would just have a, have a conversation with him and say, look, um, am I being paranoid? You know, am I being, you know, am I, you know, am I overthinking this? Because, you know, you can't help the way that you feel. So, you know, and you're not wrong for feeling something because you're feeling it. This is your reality. But definitely um, have that here, have that chat with him. That's that ace of swords. Okay, those clear lines of communication will come and, and will open up. Um, but yeah, to me, I feel like he is he's definitely avoiding at the moment, but for whatever reason, that's where you need to maybe have that conversation with him. So I'm sorry if I couldn't be more specific there for you, Ricky. But yeah, I don't feel like you're not um, yeah. I don't feel like you're being paranoid, but I also feel like it's um, it's not what you think it is, if that makes sense. And Lisa says, a positive reading for you, Ricky Lee. Okay, let's move back up to Ash now. Ash, Ash, Ash. Um, where was Ash? There she is. Okay, hi, Ash, and welcome. Hey, she says, how, how is the new Leo guy I met really feeling about me? I'm not sure what he's told me is genuine, so thank you. Number eight. What's number eight? I know number eight is the strength card, which is Leo in the tarot. Is that what you're referring to? <laughs> um, what's going on with my cards? Uh, this is your confusion. Okay, let me have a look. Oh, my God. Confusion for myself. Um, what's with the eight? Someone else has done an eight there as well. I'm confused. Where's the eight up there? Oh, dickhead. Sorry, I'm talking about myself. Uh, your... Um, my God, I need that ace of um, I need that ace of swords. <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, thanks, Jason. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Ash. Got it. I'm like, wow, what's eight? <laughs> that eight is the card of Leo, the strength. So that's that's a very intuitive for you, Ash. Okay, yeah, got it, guys. <laughs> <laughs> I've got the memory of a goldfish, and that is not even a lie. Okay, I know. Thank you, Jason. Oh, guys, let's give Jason, let's send Jason some healing energy. He's stuck at home, feeling sick, eating Tim Tam. So let's send him some beautiful healing energy, some good vibes. Okay, let's have a look, right? So how is the new Leo, guys? So Ash is a Leo, this is a Leo. What happens when you get two Leos together? Yo, yo, it is a party. It is a big party. Are you guys constantly talking over the top of you, each other? Is he trying to out, um, out, over, outshine you? <laughs> okay, let's have a look, Ash. What's going on with this Leo guy? Cool, 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 cool. Okay. Yeah. So, not to be the bearer of bad news. Welcome, Caitlin. Welcome, Holly. Okay, so look, you've got the three pentacles that's come out in the reverse. So in the upright, it's a really great card about collaboration and energies coming together to uplift and help each other. It's Mars and Capricorn. This has come out in the reverse. And to clarify that, you've got the devil card around this. So to me, I feel like 
Um, there may be some mental health stuff going on for Mr. Leo, okay? To me, I feel like there may be some, some hidden mental issues and struggles around that he's kind of, that you're not aware of. Okay, the lovers is coming through, the Gemini energy. This is Mr. Leo coming through here, standing really strong. Leo, Sagittarius, Aries energy. But you've got this card coming through here, strong scorp vibes, but you've got the death card coming through. And when I got clarification around it, Ten of Cups in the upright is, you know, Mars in Pisces. It's a beautiful connection. It's a long-standing feeling of feeling completely emotionally fulfilled. It's in the reverse. Oh, I'm sorry, Ash. Um, but, you know, the thing is with the tarot, guys, and I want to say this to everybody, we're not fortune tellers. I'm reading the energy that you're presenting to me in the moment. So what we can do is you can course correct. If something comes up that you don't really love, then you can course correct that. But having said that, I will say when it comes to major kind of cards coming through, they kind of tend to be major deep spiritual lessons. So they're a little bit harder to course correct. But with the death card and that three pentacles in the reverse with the devil as a confirmation, Ash, to me personally, I would be going in, and this is you at the bottom of this deck, okay, beautiful empress energy, shining your vibe. I would be tiptoeing in and tiptoeing out. But like I said, you know, I'm just as at the bottom, the Libra energy relationships. But again, I'm in your energy for three minutes, okay? So if you like the guy, go in it, but just be tentative. Just go in it, you know, just, just be cautious and be wary, okay? Uh, Jason is saying, hands out of my Tim Tams to everyone. Yes. Ash is saying, got feedback. I love some feedback. She's saying he's trying to rush things at first and then um, things immediately came to a halt. Now we're not in communication. Yeah. And that's um, that kind of tends to be a bit of a Leo. It can be a Leo, a male Leo thing too. They're like, look at me, come to me. I'm amazing. Over promise, over promise, over promise, under deliver, under deliver, under deliver. I am generalizing because we're not just our sun sign, but I feel like um, there is. Is, yeah, I feel like he's got a lot of things that he hasn't sorted out and a lot of things he hasn't dealt with, Ash. So to be honest, I feel like you've dodged a bullet there and I wouldn't be rushing after him, okay? You've got a little bit of work to do around your, uh, your self-sabotaging but also around your self-confidence, okay? Because you've got very beautiful, vibrant energy but you can sometimes um, sit in self-doubt a lot and you can talk yourself, um, you can talk yourself kind of uh, off a ledge, Okay, so for, for me, for you, I would just be, you know, just stay stay in your own lane, focus on, you know, focus on feeling that beautiful energy of self-love. I want to say somebody around you crossed over. Has somebody around you crossed over? Because I feel a strong connection to somebody around you on the other side. Auntie or grandmother. Definitely grandmother, but I'm feeling some someone that is like auntie energy. So not necessarily an auntie, but auntie uh, vibration. Um, welcome, Wendy from the USA, says Jason. Jason, thank you so much. Okay. And Lisa is saying I would tread lightly on that relationship. Yeah, yeah. Michelle says I can't see all comments, Jess. Hmm. Um, so, Michelle, you have to give StreamYard permission so you can see the comments. Okay. Um, both. I feel aunt and grandmother. Aunt's coming through first, but your grandmother. I definitely feel grandmother energy that's crossed over. Okay. And it's interesting that they're coming through because they're wanting you to know that they're uh, that they're around you. And she's showing, I'm, I'm being shown beads. Okay. So I'm not sure what beads is referencing. Um, as in, so like jewelry, beads like that. Beads of, um, yeah. Okay, now let me scroll back up the comments, scroll back up before I do that, guys. Let's just have one more look here. And if you want to place your card choice in the comments, one, card one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so there are your choices there. Okay, I'm just going to scroll, 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 scroll. Okay. Okay, Sam would like to know, will everything be good between my son and I? I'm solo parenting in Aries. Oh, girl. Mm -hmm. That's that cardinal fire energy. Aries, guys. Aries, Aries, Aries. The personal trainers of the zodiac sign. That go, 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 go. Fire energy. It's kind of like if you imagine a, a match being lit, 
uh, but it so it goes like that, but it burns out quickly. There's your Aries energy. So much stuff on the go. So quick, 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 but they do burn out a lot. Okay, Sam, so let's have a look. Why am I getting a reference to Mandarin, Sam? Can you let me know what that's about? Does that ring any bells? It might not ring any bells, but I'm just feeling I'm seeing mandarins. Is your son eating mandarins or what's that reference to mandarins? I always just bring out what comes through because there is a reference around it to something. We might not make that connection straight away, but I'm just bringing that through because sometimes or quite often if you don't connect to the energy straight away, it'll drop in a bit later, and that's the same with that bead reference. My pleasure, Ash. All the best. Okay, let's have a look at Sam. Two cards came out there. Okay, perfect. So these are the energies that are coming out here. Okay, you've got Mars coming through in Gemini here. This is the card of anxiety and insomnia. I love that it's coming through in the reverse. And did you notice these two came out? They were stuck together. So this is the energy around your sun, okay? This is really strong Mars in Leo energy. And this literally looks like your sun's energy. It's like so Aries. This is the most Aries energy ever. It's like back off, back off, back off. Let me do my thing. Let me stand my ground. Leave me alone, okay? So, but he is going to be fine. You've got this energy coming through. This is the solo card. This card comes through it's venus in virgo but this card comes through a lot for me when people are solo and when particularly women and when they're doing their own thing this card is a card of abundance okay it's a beautiful card of connection and abundance so the fact that this is coming through and they literally came out like that so it does tell me that you guys are going to be fine it tells me that he's going to be that you know um, I don't know why I'm saying a he, but it's going to be um, a bit of a, a, you know, it is going to be testing for you. It is going to be trying, but look at how peaceful you are. Look at how grounded you are. Look at how connected you are. You're not really going to let it bother you and get to you because, you know, you know that he is, yeah, that it's all fine. It's just all part and parcel of, of being a, a parenting, let alone a single parent. Okay, so just, um, yeah, just stand your ground. And, you know, do your best you can do, Sam, because that's all that anybody can ask of you. Do the best that you can do. Okay. Now, let me scroll back up. Okay, let me scroll back up to the top of the feed here. Let me scroll, scroll, scroll. Okay, Wendy Navel. Wendy, are you still here? Let me know if you are still with us. Ah, oh, my pleasure, Sam. Thank you so much for jumping on and thank you so much for sharing your evening with us. So I really appreciate that as well. Wendy says, hello. <clears throat> May I have, please have a reading on Korea? Hi, Wendy. I was forced to resign from a job of 24 years. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have applied for jobs and want to know what will transpire for me. Okie dokie. So let's have a look. Are you in the government sector at all, Wendy? Let's have a look what's coming up for Wendy. Let's have a look and see if the world card comes up or the wheel. Okay, so Wendy was in the government sector. Yes, that's what I'm feeling. Did you try? I'm so surprised that you weren't transferred, actually, because I feel like that was part put on the table. That was part of a discussion. Um, maybe not with you or not. I don't know about that. But um, hmm. okay, she says yes. It was a government job. Okay, let's have a look. Wendy, is you got some issues with your elbow? Have you got, did you have um, some kind of um, tennis elbow or uh, RSI or anything like that? Anything to do with your tendons, I want to say. Um, any tendonitis? Okay. So this is interesting because I definitely see you, you know, the, the, the cards come up that there is movement going on for you, okay? And it does tell me this is, you know, Jupiter and Leo, so you are going to be moving. There's that Jupiter, that wheel energy. You are going to be moving in towards something. But I really do feel like, to me, this is you holding your head up high as you're leaving that business. Um, I have pain in my left 
um, and elbow area. This is coming through here, Sun and Scorpio. So what is it that you used to do before you did this 24 job, this job of 24 years? I feel like this is you getting your, um, actually, um, to me that feels like this is you getting a, a, your redundancy or your severance pay. Yeah, yeah. Let me just clarify. So, yeah, I want to, um, to me, it feels as though there's definitely something better coming up for you. Um, but you've got this strong energy here of Saturn coming through in Pisces. So there's that walking away emotionally from, from whatever it is, from, from, from I want to say that job that you're in. But I love that this card's coming out for you because it really is about moving towards something that's better for you. I actually feel like you're going to be going into a position that is even higher up than where you were before, um, but you're definitely on the way up, okay? I'm really, really drawn to it. I've never noticed this before. If you have a look at this little dude, he's walking upwards there. So, and I'm really drawn to the peak of the mountain there. So to me, things are going to get better for you. And I feel like you're going to get yourself into a position that is better than where you were before. Okay. The clarification card coming through again is that nine of pentacles energy. So there's abundance in that. Okay. There's a feeling of abundance and look, look where you're reaching. You're reaching for the stars, like literally. So I am getting a severance on Monday. Yeah. And it's interesting because that card isn't about that, but I know that intuitively that's what that is around for you. That severance card, that severance payout, but things are getting better for you on you you're on the up and up okay so this is where guys we've just got to you know allow ourselves to um and i know it can be difficult to have faith and to trust when we need to pay bills and shit and we need to live in this 3d existence but just allow yourself to know that everything is happening in divine working time and as it should be okay this is you holding your head up high as you move forward on this path and on this journey and you're walking towards a horse is always a really good sign in a car in a tarot reading you're walking towards this feeling of abundance and freedom i'm drawn to the white in this in this card and i'm drawn to you really Really, really reaching up and look at how happy and free you feel there so for me for you I love that and here we've got the page of one so there's better things coming for you but I want to say there's a really strong sense of freedom there really really is and look at all these cards that are coming through here there's a lot of forward movement for you okay that's that strong moon energy the chariot is about moving forward okay there's some bumps on the road but as long as you stay really strong and connected and you know and with your will then it's coming for you okay and in yeah in drones I really love it and there it is that will card and that's that good fortune is coming your way when so I absolutely love that for you okay now let me have a look here so and Lisa oh Lisa you've been so beautiful tonight thank you so much I'm just going to pull a quick card for Wendy. Sorry, Dad, I didn't mean to bring you up there. For Lisa, for being so beautiful and sharing so much for everybody today. So let's just have an advice card for Lisa Pearl because she has been, she stayed with us and she has been um, really, really, Wendy says, I'm now finally feeling freedom. Oh, this is really great. Um, so Wendy's giving us some feedback, guys. I'm now finally feeling freedom. This was bothering me for a while. Beautiful. And I've got goosebumps around that. So when I get goosebumps, that's my guides giving me a massive big tick around that energy that you're sitting in. Soak it up. Stay in that. And use this time. Use this time as a bit of downtime for you. Be gentle with yourself. You're a workhorse. I can feel it in your energy and I can feel it in your vibration. Your work, 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 work. I'm surprised you're not a fire sign because you're just pushing and pushing and pushing. Use this time. Allow yourself some downtime. Go and spend some stuff on yourself and do something really nice for yourself. Lisa, look at this beautiful card coming through here for you it's called rescue okay i'm just going to quickly really quickly read from the book around that okay so this is about um the rescue cards arrive for you today because you've been asked to assess the areas of your life where you could benefit from as outside assistance okay accepting help and receiving aid is a spiritual act there is no shame in this so you might almost be you alternately may be asked by this energy to lend a helping hand to somebody else so this is obvious this is sometimes obvious, but other times it's not. Okay, so this is um, either you needing to um, ask someone for some help or someone's going to be coming to you and asking for help for you. Okay, so now let's have a look here. Okay, so we've got eight cards. Now, who chose card number one? I want to get these mixed up. Who chose card number one? So let me know if you chose card number one. And Wendy says, yes, I am a Scorpio. Yeah, you're a, you're a tough worker and you're a big worker. 
Um, so give yourself a break, Wendy. You deserve it. Okay, so let me know if you chose number one. Pop it in the comments so I don't have to scroll all the way down. So all those number ones, any questions with those number ones, let me have a quick, quick, quick scroll. You can always copy and paste your question, guys, and pop it back down so I can see it. Now I know what all these numbers are with your question. I can't see any questions with a one. Okay, so you've got here, what have we got here? You've got sun in Capricorn energy, okay, four of... Four of pentacles. So this is about holding on to resources, okay, feeling a need to hold on to resources for whatever reason. But this card really talks about making sure that you're not, you know, gathering resources or holding on to resources to avoid, you know, an emotional situation that's going on with you because you're holding it across your heart. So there is a need for you to cover up some emotional feelings instead of really dropping in and facing those feelings. So this may be around your work energy, your financial energy. It can also be around, you know, um, other people's money and other people's stuff. So that's card number one. Who chose card number two? Pop it in the comments for me, guys. Card number two, you've got this energy coming through of the moon. So strong Pisces and Cancer vibration here. Full moon coming through in Capricorn. Actually, tomorrow night, I want to say at about 6.30 in the morning for WA time. If you're in Sydney, uh, 4.30 in the morning, you've got that full moon in Capricorn coming straight through. Okay, so the moon energy, that's about really needing to listen to your intuition. Go deep. Take it in. So it's, uh, you know, you, you're being asked to go deeper with a situation or a circumstance stance okay so you know surface isn't going to do around whatever this question is there is a really strong need for you go within take it deep send it to your guides right ask them um you know send you some intuitive downloads or some intuitive guidance through your dreams so make a strong connection to your dreams just check in if you are feeling a little bit low a little bit depressed at the moment so just you know just acknowledge or recognize the shadow element to what might be going on in your energy at the moment and in your vibration. So then we're moving into card number three. And here we have got the moon coming through in Aquarius. Okay, so the moon doesn't really like seeing in the energy of Aquarius. It feels a little bit disconnected. It feels unemotive. It doesn't feel a strong, beautiful, intuitive connection around this question. There's something a little bit that doesn't seem quite right. And that's that energy of moon and Aquarius combining. So I would say make sure that you're, you know, looking into something a little bit more. When, when someone's telling you something, okay, make sure that you're, you know, maybe not believing everything that you're hearing. If you've got anything coming up around having to sign documents or anything like that, make sure you're double checking everything. We're coming out of Mercury retrograde tomorrow. So, you know, yay, yay, yay. But it's about just something just doesn't feel quite right. So whatever your question was for card number three around family, was it Beck? Something just doesn't feel quite right. And it's in the way that you think about something. So look into that. Look a little bit deeper. Okay, moving into card number four, you've got Gemini energy and you've got the lovers coming through. So this is a decision that is coming up for you. It can be around relationships. It can also be a card of self-care coming through. Okay, so whatever your question was, that's why it's nice to have a little bit of uh, um, guidance with your question next to it as well. But this is really about, um, yeah, I want to say self-care. It's about relationship as well. And it's about, you know, needing to make a decision around something. Okay. So that's coming through for you. And then we're moving into card number five. Okay. And again, you've got this strong energy coming through here of Saturn in Libra. So there is a little bit of a, the way that you think about a relationship. There's a painful, um, something going on in a relationship in your life and it's very painful. Or there's a situation and I want to say around relationship, but relationship is, uh, you know, an, it's a huge umbrella term, right? Everybody we meet, we have, uh, or everybody that's in our life, we have a relationship with. So I really want to say that there's um, some painful thoughts, some painful communication or lack of communication, something around communication with somebody in your life, and it's causing you great pain, great sadness. I would say that to clear and shift that energy, open up a line of communication with that person, with that situation, with that thing, okay? It doesn't feel... Yeah, I would be opening up lines of communication around that via text message, right? Go old school even, write a letter, write an email, whatever. But there needs to be clearing around that so you're not holding on to that. And then we're moving through to card number six and we've got page of pentacles. So this is a really great time for you to start something new, okay? We've got the new moon coming up soon, so it's a really great time to start manifesting what it is you want to start to bring to fruition for this next lunation cycle, okay? The ground is very fertile when it comes 
comes to that page of Pentacles energy. So it's a perfect opportunity for you to get something started around your work, around your money, around your body, around your career, anything tangible. Great time for you to get that started. And then we're moving into card number seven and we've got the Ace of Swords. We've got Gemini, we've got Libra, and we've got Aquarius energy. This is inspired action. Sorry, inspired insights. Sorry, I want to say it's downloaded messages. It's channeled information from your guides. It's clear thinking. It's like that aha moment while you're doing the, the vacuuming or washing the dishes or that washing the car or doing something. And all of a sudden you get a brilliant spark of inspiration. You get that answer to all your questions. It comes through out of the blue, clear as day. This is the card for you. It's also a really strong card around communication. It's a strong card for study as well. So this is a beautiful energy. And then we're moving in to wrap things up. We've got the sun coming through in Gemini. So there is a painful ending of a way that you think about a situation. I love this card for you because it's an ending that had to happen because without that ending... Nicole says five spot on for me. Beautiful. Without that ending happening, you're stuck in the same old thing, the same way of thinking. It's almost like a rumination of repetitive thoughts coming through that almost feels like there's a self-sabotage around the thought process around that. This is clearing and it is releasing and it is it is clearing the way. So feel it like this, clearing the way to that sun that's rising in the background, okay, for better things to come into your vibration. So Thank you, thank you, thank you, guys. Thank you so, so much. That was the very last card. And Jess says, thanks, Jess, you were spot on with my card number five. So thank you so much, guys, for joining me tonight. I love and I appreciate you all so much. I'm off to Perth this weekend. I'm taking my dog for a photo shoot. So much fun. She won it. So cute. I'm a bit excited. So feel free to jump over to my Facebook page and write me a review only if it's nice. And I will catch you guys next Thursday night at the exact same time. Please, if I didn't get around to giving you a reading tonight, jump on next Thursday night and let me know. Be like, yo, bet she did not get to me. And I will do my utmost best to get to you and give you a reading next week. So www.theenergymuse.com.au. Jump on if you'd like a private reading. Hit me up and let me know. Have an amazing week, guys, and I will catch you next week. Bye. Thank you, Lisa. Yay.